So have you shot any porn since the last time you were on the show? Yeah, I was in Miami like probably less than a month ago. Okay, and what type of uh, video did you make in Miami? I did some interracial. <laughs> Whoa! So what no. happened? Tell us about this interracial porn. Like when I do it with a white guy, but it hurts a little bit more. Oh! <laughs> All right, thank you, Red Bull. Yeah. Um, okay, was there anything else different other than it hurting more? Do you guys like talk beforehand? Like, hey, take it easy on me today. <laughs> yeah, I actually do that. Really? Yeah, I have like ovarian cysts. So I gotta be like, Ew. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I'm like, Ew. Was that the black guy's name, ovarian? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark Norman. How Please. many girls finger blasted themselves to that? Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, man. we're the same. We need to fuck. That's why AIDS was invented. <laughs> yeah. Just to have a payback. Yep. You know, we got to win somewhere. For your awesome fucking lifestyle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Magic Johnson's still living. Crazy. He beat Kobe. He keep. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, unlike him, that Joe Glanda. All right, we're having fun. Suck it, Ari. That's a Kobe joke that got laughs, you fucking heeb. <laughs> Stupid Ari. Yeah, they, they, yeah, he's in that, I don't know, they just, I wish sometimes that I had like the clothing confidence of like yeah. him and Delia and those I guys. I know, they're so sexy. God, I'm just like, does this fit? This has never fit. That's the only thing I ever think when I put something on. Yeah, maybe like we went to public school. Yeah. I got, I have, every time I'm in a dressing room at like a Gap, I put something on, like a jean jacket, and I go, hey, this looks pretty good. And all I hear is eight friends going, what the fuck do you think you're doing? You think you can pull that off, you fucking loser, you piece of shit, or you kill yourself? And I'm like, all right. There we go. That was a fun moment. And you put that shit right back on the hanger. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but if you owned it, people would believe it. But it's, it's yes. you. It's in you. That's true. The thing that doesn't fit is in me, man. The yes. medium, the large, that's all in there. The it's extra small, there. that's all going on inside of me, man. Right. Whether it's a turtleneck or a fucking sheepskin uh, vest, you know, it's exactly. all inside of me. And then that's why, like, ladies will gravitate to some, like, ill-dressed, yeah. ill-fitting weirdo because they're like, he owns it. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, that that's the key, isn't it? Yeah. You just gotta just gotta oh, make it your own. Yeah, that guy's a tire jack as a hat, but he owns it. He owns like, it, baby. Uh, that yeah. guy's got a yarmulke on. Gross. But he owns <laughs> yeah, it. But he owns it, yeah. dude. That hair wallet, that's what I used to call it. <laughs> um, I'd, I would go to jail. Yeah, I've done that before. I took a totem pole. Pull up, give this a goog. They're called totem poles or green hulks. <gasps> Tell the story. I took one. I've told the story a few times, but uh, I took one and I was like, I don't want to be hung over. Me and my friend are going tubing in San Antonio in the morning. There they are. Look how big that is. That is, whoa. That's a green hulk. And you're supposed whoa, to take- Whoa, I want the one that says Xanax on it. Oh yeah, that's classic. Oh man, what the fuck do I have? I have the fucking knockoff Alorazepams. Yeah. I dated her, black chick, but uh, there's, more, there's things so heavy on your plate. Right, you can't. You don't just get to kind of like f f freelance through life anymore. You got to actually focus. Yeah. Do you want to have a kid? I think I, as I get older, I kind of do because hmm. I see all these comics who are like forty, late forties, having kids, and I'm like, oh, maybe I could do that. Because yeah. I like the little guy with the noogie, and I tuck <laughs> him in, and he's, you know, weird and queer and cute, you know, and I get to feed him jizz or whatever. Why but, would you? That doesn't make sense. Well, it's, it's food not easy to chew. Oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's just nice. But tax yeah, right. so this tax write off. Ah, all right. Is right. that what you call an abortion? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> not See, with abortions, you can only write that off once because it's yeah. an expense one time. Yeah. Uh, a child keeps going. Good so. point. Good point. Yeah. I didn't know you were Jewish. It's going to pop up on TMZ, yep, yep. and they're going to have framed it how they want, yep. and it's going to ruin that moment for me. Completely. Um, and I just I just remembered, I, I remembered also just thinking what it was like if you were already so famous in one thing that yeah. you couldn't even try something else. I know. And the, the, the crazy thing is, everybody loves the moment, everybody wants the moment, but a couple of queefs have to ruin it for everything, yeah. and now we can't have these moments. Yeah. Queef Latina, dude. Yeah. That was my improv group. In college, no, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, it's true. That's the name of the app right there. Yeah, it is, dude. <laughs> What's up, son? Look at my outfit. I'm Cali, baby. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
you yeah. bought that at Ross in Indiana. <laughs> I bought that at Oakley in Oakley. You look like Stephen Hawking's at the X Games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, he's like Tony Hawking. Teamwork. Norman and Hinchcliffe 2024. Yeah. Like, I'm with you. You know, we, you can just, yeah, you can have coffee delivered. I know. You know, it's like, it's a fucking amazing place to live. It's incredible, and there's an escort in the phone book. I mean, everything you want is here, <laughs> and I don't think we're as racist as we, as we say we are. You know, it's like, well, then why is Oprah doing so well, and, you know, Jay-Z seems fine. I don't know. Maybe you're racist, and you got some shit you got to deal with. I don't know. I think the more Nigerians have moved here than were, black people were enslaved. Uh -huh. That's kind of fun. I didn't know that. And then that's uh, a stat. That's a stat. Look it up there, Jew face. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> I don't. I think everybody's doing pretty good. And then I'll also be very Ooh, calm at the same time. Ooh, that is nice. Especially because my brain is well. Yours is too. Your brain's fucked up. You're we're broke. fried. Yeah, we're wrong. All these pods. Not only do you have to be funny on a pod. After the pod's over, you have to worry, what the fuck did I say? What did I say? You know, and then you're worried about that. And then you're worried about your set. You're worried about your lady. You're worried about your parents. You're worried about your your colon, your liver. You didn't say anything bad. We'll cut the Heil Hitler thing for sure. Oh, really appreciate it. Please do. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I panicked. I like, yes, thank you. Did I say that? I don't even know if I said it, but I just believe you. I got it, this. I don't think people heard right there. I don't think you heard it. All, all right, right, somebody help the man. Will you help the guy now? He's all right. There we go. He's faking it. Look at those chicks He's helping right. you, dude. Nice. How's it going? You got one? Well, I've had so many bad heckles, uh, but the one that really fucked me up was I was doing a, I was kind of new. I was probably like three, four years in. I got a college gig, which was huge. Yeah. Good money, fly you down, put you up. And it was in Florida, and it was called Florida Atlantic. It was an all-black school, which I didn't know, but I don't give a shit. Yeah. So I show up, and I had to follow a uh, rap group. It was like kind of a talent night. Ooh. I had to follow a rap group, and they were like twirling shirts going, kill Whitey, fuck the cops, I'll yeah. kill you, you know, fuck this bitch or whatever. And they're killing. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, the whole place is jumping. Yeah, yeah. It was the DNC, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I remember there was like a little cute, nerdy black girl with a clipboard going, okay, you're next. And I just want to let you know it's very diverse. I'm like, it's not diverse. It's all black. <laughs> yeah, I'm the diversity. Yeah, 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 yeah. But whatever. So... It was me and this other kid, and we were both supposed to do 30 minutes. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, these people don't want 30 minutes of one guy. So he goes up first, and they trash him immediately, and he gets off after like a minute and a half. And I was like, what are you, crazy? You got to do your time at least. So he's like, fuck this. I'm out of here. I'm calling my agent. He was like a – he had self-esteem, this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then I'm like, all right. And then they bring me up like, oh, we got another live one coming up. Oh, baby. And then he's looking at me like, oh, this guy's a goner. Like, I totally set up for failure. So I walk on stage and I'm walking to the mic. The mic is like right where that camera is. And I haven't gotten there yet. And some guy goes, look at this fag. Kills. Kills. It, huge laugh. So I was like, all right, all right. I can handle this. So I was in such a New York state of mind. I was like damn, man, what if I was actually gay? And he goes, no, no, you are. <laughs> that got an applause break. He's getting high-fived. They're crowd surfing this guy. He's a hero. And then I try to do 20 minutes uh, on Uber after that, and they, I just ate my lunch <laughs> for half an hour. But I did my time. Yes. Yeah, but it was brutal, man. That was a, I was just watching my watch <sighs> tick. I read about a guy who has like some weird fucking birth defect where he comes out of his ass. Those are called gays. Some of our uh, greatest leaders, greatest minds, greatest innovators, people that have changed the world, there is something in common with some part of the family being abandoned. Anyone that's in a healthy structure always is underwhelming. They're never really a cool person. I agree. They never, their brain stays very right here. Like if LeBron had a father, he's trash. No, no, he's just a, a weirdly uh, athletic postman at that point. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, would, I would ante up and say molesting. Oh, for sure. It's very uh, oh, lucrative. I mean, that's, that's, how, that's how we got our series. Well, you're deal. in good company. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Were you molested? A couple times. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Send me the tape. <laughs> Good for you. You know, man. now I'm a little self conscious. I, I I was not worthy of the tape. I had one similar Hartford Funny Bone. This is years ago. It's probably like 25 people in the room. I'm eating my ass. <laughs> this guy is in the front row. I'm talking a real nerd guy, like <laughs> fat guy with glasses and a beard. And he had 
a woman with him and another, like, a sister and his cousin or something. And he's just, this guy's like a loser. And I'm bombing. And they keep doing the thing where they mimic my bomb. Like, I'd be like, oh, oh Mick Ultra, huh? And that's the punchline. you go, Mick Ultra. Whew, that was bad. And then I'd be like, well, what about uh, Shag Carpet? He's like, Shag Carpet, nothing there, you know? And I, it was, no one could hear it but me. Yeah. So he was, like, taunting oh. me. So I just lost it on this guy. And I was like, fuck you, you piece of shit. And apparently he was, like, kind of downsy or something. So maybe he was not fucking with me. Maybe he was just being retarded or something. Yeah. And I, but I didn't know that. And I kept going at him. And oh. it, this is this is when it gets really bad. When you're like, "Fuck you!" And I just got angry. It wasn't even funny. And this yeah. guy in the back goes, "Go easy on him." <laughs> so I go, "Well, fuck you too. What the hell? I'm up here alone." Blah blah blah. So eventually, the guy got up. the The retarded guy got up and was like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, "Oh shit! This guy's all you know, a little little yeah. melted." And I was like, oh, shit, uh, all right, well, what are you going to do? And they threw the kid out, and they had to throw him out, and like he was like kind of moaning and stuff. Oh, oh it was bad. On, what? And then I had, I had like another 20 to do after that. It was a nightmare. So now oh. that other crowd hates me because I, I shit on them. It was, You're going to hell, man. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, you but, didn't know. <clears throat> so, you, of course, you have your beautiful wife now. Sure. You don't know what she looks like. Sorry. That's just a thing That's that like, guys say. Nice thing. She's in a yeah. wheelchair, so she appreciates that. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it's sensitive times, so yeah. regardless. Yeah, yeah. And but don't don't uh, assume her pronouns either. That I apologize. Are, Thank are you. you okay? I apologize. That, I'll that let was it wrong. go. When did you decide it was it was over for crushing pussy? Well, yeah, how does a know, comic get out of like the single life? Because that has to be tough. Like when did you stop cheating? <laughs> it's it's tough because <laughs> A lot of emotions get involved, and you know, as a guy on the road, you you pop into Pittsburgh and you might plow a nice uh, yeah. plump lady, and mm. then you leave, and she's like, "That's it," and you're yeah. like, "I don't live there." Yeah, look at <laughs> yeah. Like, look at my show dates. Yeah, I'm in yeah. Philly tonight. I yeah, just yeah. sent her my tour yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, my schedule, and they're like, "What? Well, we had sex," and you're like, mm -hmm. "I know." She's yeah. like, "But I had sex with you." I'm like, "But I had sex with you." Right. Yeah, I don't get this weird. I thought what, equality, mm. you know, like why? That's what I thought equality. Yeah, why do you get to get mad at me? Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it was uh, just a fun the acoustics in here are great. Consensual romp. Mm. Um, Still but, in touch with a Pittsburgh girl? No, no, she. Mm. Yo, you see how white boys can just like look past shit like that and just keep having conversation? I can't look past that. You can do it, <laughs> like Mark. What the fuck is wrong with you, 